Hi, I'm Carrie Kirkham and you're Sipping with a Wine Fox. With me today is 2015 Ramey Russian River Chardonnay. It is 100% Chardonnay. 47% was from Dutton Ranches. 24% was from Martinelli's Laughlin Road Vineyard. 16% was from Ramey Estate Vineyard, and 13% was from two Rocchioli vineyards, all Russian River fruit, 100% Chardonnay. I even added it all up just to make sure. So the vines were planted between 1969 and 2006. The clones include UC Davis, Clone 4, Wenty, and Dijon. Dijon's one of my one thing that's amazing about this wine is its native yeast fermentation and native malolactic fermentation. So this wine fermented totally naturally, no inoculation whatsoever. Um, it aged surlies in barrel and it underwent batonnage. Batonnage is a fancy French name for stirring the sludge on the bottom of a barrel to stir up all the nutrients and minerals and all the goodies that help a wine age with much more complexity and better mouthfeel. So it was aged 12 months in 21% new oak from three different cooperages. Pretty interesting. Um, it was fined for clarity, but bottled unfiltered. But here's what's really cool. The wine was bottled in February of 2017, but it was not released to market until April of 2018. That's 14 months that, that, that Ramey held onto this wine before releasing it to market. I think that that is an incredibly conscientious move because recently I've tasted several top shelf Chardonnays that have currently been released with very young vintages and these are in the same price range which is 35 to 40 dollars and they're terrible they're coarse they're rough they're uh, disjointed uh, the alcohol is 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 it's like having a little bit of schmirnoff with uh with a, a chardonnay but not this very elegant very drinkable ready to drink now there is none left and I shared this bottle with my father-in-law, who really does not like Chardonnay unless it's something like Poulini Montrachet. And his comment was, if all Chardonnays tasted like this, I wouldn't complain about it so much. He, he typically doesn't like it. So this is a very European style Chardonnay with lots of craft. It really comes across as a very well-crafted wine. And it's worth trying a wine that hasn't been heavily manipulated. Um, but what does it taste like? So I'm drinking it on the cool side. This is a wine you want to drink cool rather than cold. And I'm really doing this on the fly. I get a little bit of um, even minerality on the nose. A little bit of butterscotch, baked apple. Oh my god, it's so good. Mm. I get that minerality on the tip of the tongue, like you've touched the tip of your tongue to a battery. It's very stimulating. Nice lingering finish of good fruit baked apple. Again, with a little bit of uh, caramel. Dry, nice and dry. But I love that, that little tingly sensation on the tip of the tongue. That tells me it's a quality wine. Oh little bit of lemon pith in there little sparkles of lemon pith oh my god it's so good mm. it has acidity to bounce balance out the uh, malolactic excellent only 7019 cases were made so it's smaller production uh, gorgeous wine highly recommended elegant european in style European in style, but it does have a little bit more of an oakier edge uh, over European wines. Uh, it's not super oaky, but I do notice it a little bit, um, where I don't notice it so much in, in French Chardonnays. But I really like it. This isn't a French Chardonnay. It's a California Chardonnay, and it's a really damn good one. Mm. 
I love it. Oh, love it, love it, love it. Okay, again, that's 2015 Ramy Russian River Chardonnay. Absolutely gorgeous. And to that, I say cheers and carpe uvum.